The COVID-19 pandemic has without doubt had significant socio-economic impacts the world over. The United Nations has noted that the restart of tourism will help kickstart recovery and growth as the tourism industry is the main revenue earner for many countries, especially within the Caribbean region. It is for this reason that the World Tourism Organization mandated that World Tourism Day 2021 focuses on tourism for inclusive growth. The Ministry of Tourism, as part of activities to commemorate the day, held a panel discussion with stakeholders in the industry. Panelist Tourism Officer in the Ministry of Tourism, Samantha Charles, highlighted some of the challenges faced in the preparatory phase for the reopening of St. Lucia's tourism sector. Going back to preparation of um, protocols, one of the things that required from a lot of our tourism service providers is um, submission of a, a, a COVID action plan that would guide their operations. So um, you know, a lot of the times having to review those plans and getting the necessary feedback in a timely manner because as we could all understand, time is money. So you know, there were some delays um, which would inhibit the operator's opportunity to actually resume operations as they would have liked to. And, um, you know, it would be a little ticklish situation, but uh, again, going back to the, um, the assistance and the collaborative efforts, we were able to mitigate against um, that challenge and a few others in terms of really helping our operators to get back on their, on their feet and also um, ensuring that there was a level of understanding among the operators. General Manager of Belgium Hotel, Dean Lafosse, explained that while the hotel is currently confronted by many challenges, he is confident that the situation will improve. September 1st was our very first opening. Uh, of course, uh, we did not start strong. Uh, the, the rest of the year doesn't look strong either. But what we have noticed since we've, we've opened our doors, if you're open, you're being published, the people will come. And we have seen very small spikes in, in, in our occupancies, which is great news. So just being open for the first 29 days uh, ha is already seeing good signs. And uh, of course, we must commend uh, the hotels that actually were brave enough to, to, to pave the way uh, to keep St. Lucia as a destination afloat when they actually was brave enough to open the doors in the middle of a pandemic. Sufra Regional Development Foundation's operations manager, Lester Casabon, highlighted that his hope for the future is greater tourism linkages with all other sectors. If there is opportunity for expansion, for growth, for development of the industry. Um, there may be other areas that we, we, we need to look at that we have not probably placed enough resources in there. And, uh, create some level of capacity for it. I think our vendors, they have taken a heavy hit from COVID. We need to revisit them, um, establish certain, um, if it's a matter of craft sites or certain sites under the protocol to help them, especially in the South, uh, in Sufre, where we, we've had many of the vendors have just basically kind of disappeared. So we need to get them back on board and, and we, we're very focused in doing that and, and enabling them to be part and parcel of, of what tourism offers economically. Um, in November, I know we're supposed to have our first cruise lines coming into Sufre. So we're very much in advanced stages of establishing all the make, make sure our health protocols and the systems are in place to facilitate that. But as part of that, you're enabling that everybody somehow, those cross early persons are able to get a piece of the pie. World Tourism Day is commemorated annually on the 27th of September.